me, I'm ghetto, my Kool-Aid need more sugar, five star sweet, you ain't no sugar, I'm chillin' bumpin' the need a baker, caked up, they wonder why I don't need a baker. Hey you guys, what's up? So this is going to be my home decor haul. It is more vlog style. I like vlog style videos and you guys seem to too. Yeah, I gotta moisturize my hands. I'm just showing you guys what I got, taking you around, watching me set up stuff, and you know, obviously telling you guys where everything is from. And just so you know, all of the links of some of the things will be in the description box. Some of the links of some of the things will be in the description box, everything that I could find. But yeah, let's get into it. My fingers were so dry. So you guys know that I'm on my skincare game and one of the things I noticed about Seattle, which is where I live, the air in my apartment is dry. And so I was looking for a humidifier, but I also wanted to add scent to my apartment. And UPS is being loud outside the window. I wanted to find a way to add more scents. So Andrew Naturals sent me this diffuser. I've been using it for almost a month, maybe even longer, maybe longer, but it's cute as hell. And it fits my space perfectly, as you can see. I already have wood here, I have wood floors, so it just fits the vibe, like perfectly. The theme is kind of white and wood. And so this is literally the perfect diffuser. Anyways, it's from Andrew Naturals, as you see there, and it's super easy to use, very self-explanatory. It's got a one hour, three hour, and a six hour mode for the mist to actually stream out into your apartment. So that's perfect. I really appreciate the fact that they sent me so many essential oils. So there's lemongrass, tea tree, peppermint, sweet orange, eucalyptus, and lavender. In the morning time, I love to throw in lemongrass and maybe some sweet orange. And at night, I love to throw in lavender and peppermint. So those are my combos right now. This smells really good. I've never tried this mix, sweet orange and lavender, but I actually recommend this. This is nice. Already, it's just adding so much freshness and it makes the air really crisp. I had another diffuser slash humidifier, which this also acts as a diffuser for essential oils and a humidifier. So that helps with my hair, that helps with my skin, and it just clears the air. So this is one of my favorite things that I got. And then of course, I have a discount code for you guys. So check the description box for the discount code. Highly recommend getting a diffuser, regardless of if it's this one. I highly recommend getting one in a humidifier for your space. Okay, now I want to show you guys this lamp. I got a whole ass lamp. I already have about three lamps in my apartment, but they're ones that I've had for a minute now. I actually brought them from my last apartment to here, and it's time to get something that actually fits my space and fits my personal style. All right, so I got this big old box. Now, this company is a light up. I am so excited. I was struggling between which lamp I actually wanted to get. This is the one that I settled on and I'm really happy with it, but there were so many good options and again, it's following that whole wood theme. I didn't expect that my whole, that I would have a lot of wood pieces, but so I'm opening this and yes, I've had this for a, a little second and I waited to film this for you guys. This, this is huge. Okay, damn. <gasps> This is big. Okay, this is way too big, I think. Okay, well, we got the lampshade. Now let's open this. I have a studio, if you guys didn't know. It's kind of like a studio with a one bedroom. I'm trying to picture this in my space and it's difficult for me right now, so. All right, do not discard any contents. Remove everything from the plastic. Boom. I think it's too big. branch into the hole and stick. Place the lampshade onto the socket and secure with socket ring. Screw in the bulb, not included. I thought it was cool because it's kind of like a tree. You guys can see it's like a tree. Whoa. <laughs> Look at how large that thing is. That doesn't fit in the space at all. Okay, that lamp was 
huge. I don't think that's gonna fit in my space and I think I'm gonna have to exchange it for a smaller lamp. I did the measurements and I don't know if I just did them incorrectly, but that is way larger than I expected it to be, but it's so nice and I love that it has the little hooks because I can hang my scarves on there. I wouldn't be hanging coats, but you know, my scarves or even my little rubber um, elastic band that I use for working out, for tension. It's a great idea. I still recommend that you guys check them out if you're looking for an affordable lamp that also gives you that modern wood aesthetic and vibe, then check out A Light Up because they have amazing ones on there. And there were some that were sold out that I think they might be restocking that I really like. So, I got things from all over the place. So this is actually from the container store. Now, I just have so much clutter under my bathroom sink. There are a lot of products that I do not use. So I got this organizer, it's so cute. So it's a mesh organizer and it was hard for me to find ones that would actually fit under my sink because the sink pipe or whatever comes down below, of course. And there weren't a lot of storage things, even on Amazon, that were narrow enough to fit under that space. So for this one, I measured it out and it fits perfectly and then it also has a drawer and then a top section where you can have your products kind of hanging out the top. The way that it works is you take out one of these, if I could get it out, and it slides in here. There, so it slides up top. So you can fit products that are taller on the bottom space and then whatever you want on top as well. Welcome to my bathroom. I'm on the floor, I have a rug down here, so this is a mess. Let me show you guys. Oh, perfect. Okay, so this is going to fit. But let me show you this mess under here. I know I'm ashamed. Look, it's a hot ass mess. I'm going to make space on this side. A lot of this stuff I'm not going to actually use or I never really reach for it. So I guess this is also a little declutter situation. I think I'm going to do a giveaway with the Camille Rose Natural, um, the leave-in collection. So the whole space is cleared out, but it is disgusting because of all of my oils, my own little oil concoctions and stuff, and my large bottles of oil. They seeped out onto it. Oh, and there's still oil stains on the white part. Great, okay. Well, this was a much needed video because I didn't know that I was this trifling. You don't find me pretty, pretty, pretty anymore. I'm feeling so distressed that you don't find me pretty, pretty anymore. All right, so what I did is I actually put this lining, what was left of it, on the left-hand side because that's not where the rolly shelving is going to be. Just cutting this to fit that back section. This could be cool to kind of tell you guys what I have. So I have this Sunny Isle Jamaican Black Castor Oil infused with hemp seed oil. I've got a trash can here, so I'm going to throw that out and I'll just throw out anything that is just not speaking to me anymore and then I'm gonna clean these products off a little bit. All right, so I'll put this baby in here and I'll put it at the bottom so the taller products can fit on the top. All right, I also have my Now Solutions jojoba oil. I also have my Pure Vitamin E oil, tea tree oil. I also have this Daughter of Eve Herbal Hair Growth Oil. I love this oil, but because it's been hidden under here, I haven't reached for it, so that's perfect, and I love that on my scalp. I've got some neem oil from Alafia. So I've got this Rose Hair Elixir by The Innate Life. I love this stuff. So I also have another DIY product. I told you guys I've been experimenting with my friend Monica. She also has a YouTube channel. Her hair is a lot kinkier than mine, but she's grown it so extremely long. I think she's at waist length or past waist length. So we have been formulating some hair growth products and this butter is another one that we have worked on. So this oil is for my brows. I use a bamboo toothbrush and I actually am trying to regrow my brow hairs back. Deep conditioner by 
my main choice. I actually really like this. This is really good and I actually put this in my DIY deep conditioning treatments now and I really like this. So I think I'm gonna grab a couple more of these. So I'm almost done and it still looks kind of cluttered to me and I think I'm just keeping things imagining that I'm gonna use them in the future and I really need to just get rid of them. Honestly, I've had these for a long time, but let's see the ingredients. Water, glycerin, hydrolyzed corn syrup, water, PVP, polysorbate, 20, glycerin, carbon more. Oh, definitely not, okay. Those are gone. We got water, sidereal alcohol is the second ingredient, shea butter, chlor stereoconium chloride, triglyceride, glycerin, Sweet almond oil, stearic acid, uh-uh, no. Wow. So I pretty much have oils, deep conditioners, conditioners, a couple of moisturizers, a lot more oils, and one curl defining product under here. I also have some cocoa butter wafers and then some unrefined shea butter, some organic unrefined shea butter, shea butter. <laughs> A regular color applicator bottle. I use this for my Rasul Clay and Aloe Vera Juice shampoo, which is just amazing. And I'll make a video on that. Well, maybe I'll just link to a couple of videos that I use to make mine because this is the best clarifier that I have used personally that leaves my hair defined, still moisturized, super cleansed. The product buildup is gone, not stripped at all. Amazing. Literally, you guys, I got rid of so many products. Let me show you. That is insane. And it was just a whole bunch of BS, like stuff that I never reached for ever again after using it, maybe once or twice, and it just was sitting in there. Keep it simple back to the basics really that's what i'm doing for real i just can't there's no reason to have all of these things and also it takes up space that you could be filling with products that maybe actually do work so if you do a lot of product reviews or whatever or you just are a product junkie and you're a hoarder of products go through your little stash every once in a while and clear some things out because you know you're not reaching for most of that stuff anymore maybe you are so i've got my Aphigy two-step treatment there, Aphigy curlific texture treatment, my eco back there, some deep conditioners, a lot of oils in that back section, empty bottle, empty applicator bottle, empty spray bottle, cocoa butter, shea butter, behind that is my DIY mango butter, and also some more deep conditioners, my TGIN one, I've got my bentonite clay back there, some products back there by the Innate Life that I'm still trying to work into my routine to see if I actually like them or not, some oils up here, which hazel those conditioners and shampoos. I'm not throwing this out, uh-uh. This video is super long-winded, but you guys see that I got rid of a lot of my hair products. I also have a couple of things left to show you guys that I purchased. So I got this suction cup and it has a double hook for my shower. So I also got this curtain. It's not a shower curtain. My stall size shower is larger than regular stalls but, and it's also taller than regular stalls. So I had to do a little DIY situation. So I got this off of Amazon and it's actually a curtain that you would use in your living room. And I think it's 54 by 85 or 84. What I like about it is you can see out of it really well. It lets in a lot of natural light, but you can't see somebody inside, you know what I mean? So as you can see, I have a plastic liner inside, so I haven't had an issue with it getting wet, and it's the perfect length. Look at that. The perfect length. I also got this over the door hanger for whatever. I had a shower cap on there, I have a robe, a silk scarf, and then my one of my exfoliating rags, and it's actually from Ghana, I believe. I got that on Amazon as well. I did get that on Amazon. Mm -hmm.
basically all I wanted to show you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And you can find everything that I talked about for the most part in the description box with direct links. I will see you guys in my next video. I'm sure you guys know this by now, but if you're on Instagram and you follow me, these highlights here, you can see what I eat. I know a lot of you guys are interested in what I actually eat. So under breakfast, it's not just breakfast, so I'll probably change this to food, but I have smoothies and what I eat sometimes on the daily and the ingredients that I use. I have hair, I have skin. So yeah, make sure you guys check the IG out. Baby, we can dance if you like. Shake that pretty ass when it's flashing and light off. For one glance, can only imagine the hype. Trying to figure out what's being your plans for the night.